Hello there, folks! Welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters, and hey, here's Red! Hi, Red! Well, if it isn't Beaton's best box pusher, good job, my friend! I don't know how you pulled it off, but here we are with a sweeping victory! Best part is, no one caught wise to our plan. Right, well, let's not talk about it while we're still at the scene of the crime. Right, of course. Hey, did you give it any more thought to the offer I made you back in the warehouse? Or are you still set on going to San Ferdano? Oh, I haven't given him much thought. I'll be leaving soon. Now the strike's over. San Ferdano's still waiting for me, and I've only got 20 days to get there. Right, well, I guess everyone's got tough choices to make. I hate to say it, but I'm gonna miss you a bit. Don't tell me you're getting sentimental, Red. Heh, <laughs> not likely. There's rare to see someone willing to go the distance for their job these days. I like that. I want to give you this as a token of my appreciation for all you've done. Huh. That's really nice of you, Red. I noticed you didn't have a pair of your own. You never know when they'll come in handy. They're not too big for you, are they? They don't really carry women's sizes. They should fit just fine. Thanks, Red. I really appreciate this. Hey, don't get sappy on me now. Just take care of yourself out there, alright? Yeah, you too. Alright, then. Excuse me, citizen, please hold- I need to speak for you a moment. Please don't leave. Oh. Shit. Oh, boy. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Shit, what do I do? Uh, this could be really bad, but let's stay. I'm just curious. I'm curious. Oh, no. Thank you for waiting. I have a few words to say. The new mayor told me that you had assisted him in his recent campaign. He said that you were absolutely instrumental in his success. At first, I couldn't figure out what exactly he meant. But it's all become so clear to me now. I mean, how else do you explain such a landslide victory against the odds? Am I in trouble? Trouble? What for? I just wanted to applaud you on your magnificent poster designs! Surely that's what he meant, right? He also wanted me to give you thi this as a token of his appreciation. Yes! These are issued mostly to City Hall employees, but a few to exceptional citizens like yourself. You can use it at any normal t ATM to access your credit. But it does have a limit, unfortunately. You can't just spend all the city's tax dollars willy-nilly, now can you? Thank you! Alright, put it to good use, and once again, thank you for your efforts. We genuinely appreciate the work you've done. Take care. Alright, I guess that's gonna get us the money we need for our ticket. Which is awesome! Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... Oh. I wonder how much cash this thing's got on anyway. Now that strikes over, I should probably go and check the bus schedule. I should probably get the first bus to Salt City I can. Alright, well first things first, let's check out an ATM and see what this bank card does. Alright, uh, Beaten City. Yep, invalid. Oh, crap. Uh, thank you for using... What do I... Let me see. This is it. Yeah, Bank Card City. Okay, one, two, three, four. So, I'm glad I just kind of said that out right. Uh, Beaten... One, two, three, four. Welcome, Beaten City employee, checking balance. Okay, 200 bucks. So I guess I'll withdraw that then. Yep. Well, it's not much, but you know what? It definitely helps. So now my bank card. Okay, so I'm gonna need like, I think 700 bucks in order to get this ticket. So withdraw. 200, 3, 4, 5. Yep, that should be about enough. Oh my god, I hate you. Alright, and I need to get some food too, which is dumb. I hate you. All of you. Alright, let's go. Let's go do this. Let's get some food from the bacon barn and let's just get out of town because I'm done with this place. It's time to move on. Time to head west. To the wild unknowns. By the way, what's the name? The Vagrant Halt Foundation. No droppings or freeloaders allowed. Great to know. Hi, Bacon Barn. What you got to sell me? Uh, well, I, I suppose I still have a bunch of burgers, but still, I, I would like a few more if I can. Yep, there we go. And... Let's go ahead and eat... Let's, uh, we'll eat those later. Let's go ahead and get onto the bus and get out of here. God, this town full of corrupt liars and sons of bitches. But hey, I got the job that I was supposed to do done, and that's what's important. Salt City. That's two-way trap. All right. Ow! My wallet. 
Salsa Express leaves here every evening. Oh, so I've still got... Okay. I guess that means I gotta go say goodbye to Larry then. But uh, this evening, I guess I'll take off then. Man, I didn't even explore this town. I just kind of went straight down the red line and did what I had to. Then again, I, I mean, I don't have time to waste exploring cities. I have uh, only a month to get across the entire country. It's not easy. It really isn't. Wonder maybe there's anything here I can do. Let's see. Hey. Ah, this, this place sucked. It never did anything interesting. It'd really help if maybe I could find a job to work in the afternoon. Uh, but oh well. I guess I'll go see how uh, Larry's doing. Man, I can't believe that only had 200 bucks on it. That sucked. Man, that was so not worth the jail time. Uh, well, there's a kitty. I, I don't see Larry, though. I'm surprised. What do I do until he... Oh, God. It's another one of those I'm stuck moments, and I don't know what to do. Well, uh... Guess I better find something to do. I mean... Not much I can do. Walking down the dock. Oh, hey. Ellie, do you think you can help me out? Say, so you need my help? Sure, what can I do for you? Well, I lost my fishing pole. I was using this fish, using the fish I catch to feed my family. Some folk who hangs out on the bridge stole it. Now my family's going to die if I can't catch a few land crabs. Can't catch a land crab? Really? How can I help? Well, I'm not sure how... I'm not sure if you know this, but the bean water system is heavily polluted. I know all the spots in town where you can catch fish that are still safe to eat. I can mark them for you. I've already marked one down in the initials. FK is my initials, but you can call me Fishing Kid. I see a spot. What else? Oh. Okay, no, I don't want to do this. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care to you. I don't care about you. I will never care about you, fishing kid. And I will not help you feed your family. Go away. Can I talk to the... Okay. I apparently stepped on that poor thing. So, what... Again, what now? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just kind of... Oh, employment service. Here we go. I can uh, do a work. I can do a job. That would actually be pretty awesome. Uh, well, I guess I'll just go straight to the hemp plant. Why not? Uh, botany club. Let's go. Uh, I guess we'll go work on plant. Oh, yep, we're working on plants. All right, before you even ask, let me answer your questions and save us all a little trouble. Yes, those plants are ma marijuana. I grow it. Yes, I'm a legally licensed medical distributor. No, I will not sell you any without a card. No, I will not sell you or help you obtain a card. Do you understand the last two in particular? Yes, crystal clear. Totally legal operation. Your job here is to cut the buds off of plants. I'll give you two, two dollars for every gram you collect from me. You have to bag it to order though, so listen up. Your first order is 14 grams. So take this baggie, go fill it up, and then come see me when you're finished. All right, try and fill it exactly, all right? Any excess gets pulled off the top and my cousin Donnie over here weighs it and then he smokes it. Neither of us get paid for that loss. Can't do anything about it. That's his cut. Thankfully, it actually does grow on trees. Fill the bag to 14 grams and bring it to you. Sounds easy enough. Don't get smart and try stealing any either. They, they'll search you before you even get on the bus. Trust me, they don't even like doing business here. You don't want to dick around with them. We'll be waiting here with the scale. Okay. Uh, Kurt... Okay, so we'll clip four off of the... Oh, well, that's a whole thing. Okay, and... Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, two. Oh, shit. Uh, don't clip that one. Uh, don't clip. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to do this, so let's see. Oh, three. Perfect. There we go. That's 14. So, oh, God, it's a numbers game. You fill the plastic bag yet? Yeah, it's looking pretty full. Give him the film. Give it here, we'll weigh it. Looks like you hit it bang on. 14 grams is on the money. Suck it, Donnie. That's $28 for you so far today. Not bad. Did you want to clip some more? What's the order? Receive a new plastic baggie. This one's for Tony Grams. Fill it up. I've kind of got like a, I, I, I'm kind of doing a hushed, uh, like, oh, what's his name? I forget. Uh... Hell Kitchen, Kitchen's Nightmares. I have no clue what his name is. I can't believe I forgot this person's name. I cannot believe it. Don't clip. 
Uh, okay, two grams and two grams. There we go. Uh, Gordon Ramsay. That's that's kind of the voice I'm going for with this guy. Is a hot Gordon Ramsay. You feel the plastic baggie yet? Yeah, it's looking pretty full. Give it here. We'll weigh it. Looks like you hit it bang on, kid. 20 grams is on the money. Suck it, Donnie. <laughs> that's going to be the name of this episode. Suck it, Donnie. All right. Do you want to clip some more? Damn sure I want to do it. Let's see. This one's for 16 grams. Go fill it up. Currently holding. Let's cut four. I guess uh, I don't like doing odd numbers, but I guess I'll do it. Uh... Okay, so that'll, and if the next one's four, then no, uh, no, I don't want to cut too many. I want to see maybe if I can get one more bag out of these plants. But the way it's going, it's not looking like it. Uh, oh my god, why are you all too, ah, oh, god damn it, I got an itchy nose. I have the itchiest nose on the planet right now. I'm sorry, I had like an itchy goddamn nose. Like, the itchiest nose. Are these all going to be two grams? I, are you serious? All right, fine. Two and... Wow, you really wanted to fuck me there. I hate you. All right, buddy. All right, yep, fell the plastic baggie and give it here, we'll weigh it. Well, it looks like you hit, a, hit it bang on. 16 grams on the money, suck it, Donnie. <laughs> All right, awesome, we're making some great money. All right, one more order and I think we'll be good. 20 grams, oh, this one wants to stretch me here. All right, let's see, four. Five, three, three. I could risk. Let me see. Don't clip. Uh. Okay. So this is just. It gives. It's giving me. Here we go. I'd rather. Oh, you bitch. You bitch. Okay. Thank God. All right. With only two plants, I get the feeling uh, bad things are gonna happen if I try to fill another one. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and say we're done here. Looks like you hit a bang on. 20 grams is on the money. Suck it, Donnie! It's $140 for you, kid. Uh, no thanks, I'm good. I think I'm done for the day. I think the bus is here soon. Ugh, I, smell, I still smell like weed. All right, I got 70 bucks. That's not bad, and it's the evening. So I guess it's time to get out of here. Suck this place. I'm done. Still, though, I guess I will miss this place. And I kind of wish I'd stuck around a little bit longer to clip some more weed. But I guess, you know, whatever happens, happens. Let's see. So I've got 162 bucks now. And how, how's my stamina? I've got no stamina. Bacon burgers! All the bacon burgers in the world fill my stomach. Look at me. I eat this many bacon burgers. I still got this awesome figure. I just, I just smacked my, uh, well, I didn't smack. I tapped my, uh, pop filter with my, my thumb. So I hope you didn't. Okay. So we've got the pass. Let's leave town. Just a small town girl. Oh. Oh, that didn't last nearly as long as the trip to, to Beaton. I can't believe I actually thought of it, and it's like, oh, well, nope, you're not going to get to do anything. All right, so I missed another day missed, because, uh, all right, finally made it. San Verdano. Can you tell me I get to Jubilee Trailer Park? I think that's the place. You're looking for old Marcansas, Mar right? Ophelia, isn't it? Yeah. How'd you know that exactly? It's a small town. Everyone here knows Mark pretty well. Told me to keep an eye out for you in case you stop by and tell you where to go. His place is just on the other side of the overpass. You should find it no problem. Alright then, thanks. Well, this is going to be a nice little place, isn't it? I mean, okay. Uh, oh, salt of the earth. We got an Oh. Do I have to... Uh, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. It's a rooster. I guess I just got to walk up this way. Oh. Oh, I thought there was a wall at first. Okay. So there's the bacon barn if I need more food. Uh, the freedom convenience. The slick salty pawn. Alright, so how do we cross the over... Aha! Here we go. And... Oh! Well, we disappeared. So... What is this? Uh, oh! Big Dog Boxing Club! Ooh! Sounds neat. Uh, but anyway. So... Oh! 
Hi, just two old dudes kind of sitting around a fire. I I can dig that. Oh my god, are these Stamper and Waldorf? Awesome! I told you already, it's your turn to get the wood. Wanna do early morning fry ups? You gotta share your load of the work. I'm pretty sure I got the wood yesterday, you forgetful old fuck! Besides, they're my eggs, so if you wanna eat them, you better get to bring in the wood! Y your eggs, it's my bacon! What's the point of bacon without eggs? Forget that! What's the point of eggs without bacon? Hey, you there! Yeah, you young lady! Can I help you with something? Well, yes, actually. I'm Grafton, this is Colburn. Uh, Stanler and Waldorf? I don't know, those names don't fit. We're trying to get a fire started so we can cook breakfast! Egghead over here seems to think that I should get the firewood! Yeah, and Big Breath wants me to do his job for him! Would you kindly tell, tell that old coot that breakfast ain't breakfast without bacon? Then to get off his big butt and get the damn wood? Or if you'd rather be honest, let this scene out bat know breakfast needs eggs? Smart him up and he'll do the job for a change. You're asking me whether I answer? I'll get the wood. How about I save, save us in the bait and I'll get the wood? Well, I guess that solves the problem. Yeah, no more need to argue, I guess. You should have had some grandkids for this sort of stuff, you know? Then he would have to get married, though. Forget it, then. Who wants to live at the sort of pointless bickering all the time? You said it, buddy. <laughs> Where's this wood, anyway? Well, we got an axe handy. I'm sure any of these trees will do. Else, you can enter the main office and talk to Barney. He's got plenty of fresh cut. Should be no problem. You should probably go and pay him a visit if you're looking to stay here anyway. All right, thanks for the advice. I'll be back with the wood in no time flat. Okay, who the hell am I supposed to talk to? Can I search the dumpster for food? Uh, no. Let's do it. I want to do it. Look for food. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find anything in the dumpster. I don't know. Maybe I will. I'm obviously really looking around this dumpster, so I'm about nothing. Man, I need to look harder. Ah, forget it. If I didn't find anything the first time, I'd rather not try. Uh, I guess this is on the doorbell. Should I knock? Uh, oh, so I have to actually find him. Jesus. Well, let's go to the main office first, because I have to get the wood anyway. Maybe that'll tell me where Mar Marquise lives. See? Uh, trailer Park Office. Good day. Bonnie Burns, owner of this here Jubilee Trailer Park and proud resident too. Haven't seen you around before. Are you looking to hunker down in Old Salt City for a bit? Must have one heck of a quiet camp. I didn't even hear you pull in. Uh, no, actually. I'm looking for someone named Mark who lives here. Well, shit on a pickle. You gotta be Ophelia, right? Guess I lost the betting pool on when you'd arrive. That's 50 smackers and a six pack to boot. You guys were betting on me? Well, after Mark wouldn't shut up about you coming to visit, we figured we'd at least have some fun about it. Fun to be funny seeing how Mark hates gambling and all. Didn't even face him, though. He's had a shitty and grin ever since you called. Go figure. Go figure? It's not every day you get a world-famous offer walking through Salt City. Hell, you're the talk of the town as it stands. I'm surprised you haven't had to sign the autographs yet. Uh, that might be because I don't have a book out, but... I'd ask for one, but I don't even have a copy of your book, I'm afraid. How much am I reading myself? But I do like crossword puzzles. You ever write one of the crossword puzzle books before? Me and my wife are always looking for new ones, seeing how fast you can finish them and take a while to, on the john. No, sorry. I don't sweat it. If you're looking for Mark's place, it's the big yellow one by the dumpsters. Anything else I can help you with? I was told there was wood here. Oh yeah, no problem. The bundles are $10 each and I got plenty down there. Just come see if you're ready to buy one. If anything else you sell. Alright. Oh. Oops, I got a new message on the computer over there. Excuse me for a minute. That could be a reservation. Hmm. Actually, uh, you need some wood for the fire pit? Uh, yeah, actually. Oh, matches. Fresh cut firewood. Good for making fires. Alright, uh, I, I don't know how much I'll actually need. I guess I'll just buy one and hopefully that'll be enough. A cheap pack of mat. I get the feeling I may need matches too. But just because I'm kind of stocking up on stuff. Alright, so let's go deliver them uh, their... Let's go deliver them their firewood, and then I guess we'll stop by the big yellow one. Uh, which... Oh, there it is. Oh, it was the one I was going to knock on, so I would have guessed right. Okay. Go ahead and just drop that wood in the fireplace. We'll stack it properly. Let's just dump it in. 
Thanks for helping us out, yeah? You're real darling. Brought the wood! Alright, there we go, and I guess light the fire now? Guess I can start the fire up again. Alright, here we go! Alright! It's burning bright! You did it! What an amazing fire! Alright, well, I did my good deed for the day. Let's go see, uh, Mar uh, let's go see this Mark guy. I guess there's a doorbell. Knock on door. Hello, is anyone there? Mark, you home? Whoa! Ophelia! Thank the Lord, here you are in the flesh! Heck, you all grown up and everything, too! Well, don't just stand there, baby girl! Come give old Mark Hansis a hug! Yeah, I'll hug Mark. <laughs> Mark seems like a nice guy. I, I, this seems like a really nice place, Salt City. Yeah, it's a bit small, but I tell you, it's got everything a man needs. Kitchen's a little bare, but if you need to fix yourself something, by all means. My bed's down by the shitter next to the bookshelf. That's the tree behind you, blowing bubbles. If you feel like feeding her, I'm sure she won't mind. And this is where you'll be staying, here on the couch. It ain't a pull-out, but it's not too bad in terms of comfort. Just don't tell Trinity. Just don't let Trinity keep you up at night. She likes to babble at night sometimes. Go grab a seat on the couch. I want to show you something. Oh, see, don't tell me he's going to pull out, like, a photo album. I gotta say, it looks, like, a lot bigger on the inside. Thanks for having me. Heck, it's no problem at all, baby girl. Don't even mention it. It's the least I could do. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, oh god, what's he... Hey, take a look at this. That's a photo of us 27 years ago. You were the cutest kid, I tell you, but I don't blame you if you don't remember. We didn't get to spend all that much time together after the early years. Well, it's definitely me in the photo. I wore those overalls through half of elementary school. What happened, though? How come no one ever mentioned you? I can't blame him, considering how I used to be. Back then, I probably wasn't the best influence to begin with, and I got into some real trouble. Got arrested on a DUI and got extra time for assaulting the officer. It's a big shame and my burden to bear, but you try to make amends for your ass. Still, it's all part of the big plan, you know? You turned me around and set me straight. Helped me find the big man in the sky. Speaking of which, I got some work to do up at the church and I'm almost late. You're welcome to come along if you'd like, but feel free to check out the town if you prefer. I'm sure you can find something interesting to do if you look. Oh, and please keep the photo. It means a lot to me. Oh, that's really nice. I will, thank you. Alright, if I don't see you, I'll meet you back here this evening. Doors always open, so come and go as you please. See you later, baby girl. Well, uh, as, as much as I would probably like to go do my own thing, uh, I'm sure if I helped Mark Anzis with whatever he's doing, that would probably get me to San Verdano quicker. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of Always Sometimes Monsters, and I will catch you all next time. Later!